Hey everyone, welcome back to Aaron's Dollhouse. Um, so today I got uh, this cute little doll set. Um, so I've always found it very interesting, but they've always had like these like small like Disney dolls of the princesses and also like other Disney characters as well. But they're usually like yay tall. Um, and they're basically supposed to, like, represent the character, like, when they were, like, I guess you could say, like, a toddler or a child or something like that. Um, but I've always found them quite fascinating, and I've never had the interest in buying one, but I finally just, like, found one on Amazon <clears throat> that I thought was actually quite interesting. So... I decided to get one because I'm going to put it on my desk when I go into the office at work and I just thought she was really cute but I was like eh, it's Rapunzel and she as you can see has like super super long hair <laughs> but I think she's really cute um we're gonna get her out of the box and just like take a like a closer look at her and all her little accessories but yeah I've always thought that these dolls were always very interesting especially because you know it is the character when they were a child so there's the back of the box by the way but yeah let's get her open and take a look so starting off I just wanted to share real quick I think it's so cute she's got the background from inside the tower with the fireplace and then the painting of the floating lanterns right above it. I think that's really cute. <laughs> Which this doll, by the way, is made by um, Jack's Pacific is the people that make these like specific Disney princess dolls. So very interesting. All right, and here she is. So she definitely does have some box hair. Um, <laughs> that's to be expected. And like I said, it is pretty long, especially like, you know, for one of these dolls. Um, so I was going to say the hair quality is not the greatest, but it's not terrible. Um, there was kind of like some styling product a little bit in it, but it was kind of easy to just brush it out, um, luckily. but. I thought that was interesting considering the whole point of hers obviously for like the child to play with her hair weird but <laughs> I don't know um we are going to take a close-up look at her um but she is very cute and I can't wait to put her on my desk at work so this is her I think she has a very cute face mold and she has pretty pink lips. And then, you know, her tiara from the movie. Um, unfortunately, none of this detail is painted, but you know, it's just a play line doll. So I guess it's okay. <laughs> but <clears throat> she is very cute. Um, she has just like basic articulation. Uh, these shoes do actually come off. Her dress, I will say, um, is pretty decently detailed. I mean, this is actually like a whole separate piece. Like, this is ribbon right here. Um, this, unfortunately, was printed on, but it, it is what it is. The sleeves are done pretty nice. And then I do love these little glitter details and flowers here. And then she, there's even this cute little trim at the bottom. So, <clears throat> you know, pretty decent. And then as you can see, her, um, yeah, her hair is very, very long, which is really nice because it's Rapunzel and it should be long. And then this is the back. Kind of, you can see that hair a lot more here. Um, and I will say it is very nice. Um, all of these details and everything do actually carry to the back of the dress. So that actually surprises me considering, you know, she's just kind of like a low budget um, playline doll. But it does seem like Jack Specific is trying to kind of step it up a little bit more. Um, so that's definitely nice. 
But um, as you can see, um, she does actually stand up on her own. So I didn't mention that before. And uh, oh, hey, baby. <laughs> That's Miko. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put her in her second dress because I actually do like that one a little bit more because um, it's kind of more flowy and everything. Uh, and I think it's inspired by her wedding dress. So, yeah. Oh, and then also we're going to talk about all the different accessories as well. All right, so I'm actually quite like pleasantly surprised with this dress. It's like pretty nice. Um, I mean, the material is not like the highest quality, obviously, but <clears throat> there's definitely a lot of cute like little details and things. Like they do got this like pink trim kind of going around the sleeves and then on the collar. And um, then it, even around the bottom of the bodice. And then these little cute little printed on details. And then the um, printed on details do continue. Um, I do wish this was different pieces of fabric, obviously. But, you know, I'm okay with how they did it. I think it looks very well done. Um, and honestly, this skirt, it's its so cute. it It's actually pretty, pretty big. Um... So it looks really good. I might actually keep her on this one. But yeah, I think she's super cute. I, I really like her. And like I said, it is a very interesting concept for these dolls. Because obviously it's based on when the character was a child. Um, but I, I think it's done very well. And she's super cute. Um, so let's talk about all the accessories. Alright, so... First one I'm going to show is we've got little Pascal. Well, actually, there's not really anything little about him. In fact, he's quite big. I don't know why he is so big, but, you know, it's cute. He's like the size of a puppy compared to her. But, eh. And then um, she comes with all these cute little hair clips to put in her hair. And then she does come with a brush. And then she also comes with her frying pan, which is super cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I tried to get this on her hand and this little handle thing does not work well. So it's one of those I would definitely have to like take some plastic ties and just tie it to her hand, but it's okay. Um, she is super duper cute. So happy to have her um, as another doll that I can stick on my desk at work. <laughs> but yeah. But like I said, um, she is adorable. I, I really like her. I actually think she's pretty decent quality for what she is, you know. Um, but um, other than that, I was going to say... Um, like I said, she is still available on Amazon. That's where I got her from. Um, so I will leave a link in the description to, um, if you're interested in purchasing her, maybe, you know, put her on your office desk or something, or maybe just like put her with the rest of your Rapunzel dolls. I don't know, but I think she actually is pretty cute. Um, I do know that the Disney store kind of does make their own versions of these as well. Um, and they're kind of like in like what looks like little lunch boxes. <laughs> but um, I've never seen one that actually has hair this long. So I don't know. I like this one. So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you think this doll is cute, um, definitely share about it in the comments. If if you have like any other dolls from this type of doll line, uh, definitely, yeah, share about it. But other than that, have a great rest of your day.